When you first start Clip Magic, it will appear in full view on the desktop. You'll also notice a little icon in the system tray down here, and this is how we access Clip Magic. If we close or minimize the window, it will disappear from view, but the software will still be running in the system tray. Whenever we want to access it, we click on that icon. Now, one of the first things you may want to do is go into Tools and Options and tell Clip Magic to run when Windows starts. That's this option, Run at Windows Start, and also to tell it to start minimized. This means that rather than appear in full view on the desktop when you start your computer, it'll run hidden and be sitting in the system tray ready for use. Now, probably the first thing to do when you start using Clip Magic is to almost forget that it exists. Just leave it running there in the system tray, watching what you do. And every time we copy something to the clipboard, like this, of course we could do Control C, it will be monitoring that clipboard content and storing it in Clip Magic. I'll do one more, and then we'll go and have a look at Clip Magic to see what it's been doing. So we double click, or we click on there, and as you can see, all those items that we copied to the clipboard are now stored in Clip Magic for later use. I'm going to run Notepad to demonstrate copying something out of Clip Magic. And by default, if we right click on an item and select Copy Clip, it's now back in the in the Windows clipboard and then that means I can paste it into any application I want. Now what I prefer to do is to set the double click action to copy to clipboard. So now I only have to double click an item and it's in the clipboard. Another thing you can do is enable magic paste. What Magic Paste does is as well as copying an item back to the clipboard when we double click on it, it will also paste it into whatever the active window is. It tells you down here what the active window is. So now, if I want to do this one, let's double click it. And as you can see, it switched straight over to Notepad because that was the last application I was working in and pasted it straight in. Now, we can also access clips when Clip Magic is hidden away. We can right click on the system tray icon and select Copy Clip, and we see we have convenient access to the last 10 clips here. And if I click on that, again, because Magic Paste is enabled, it's gone straight into that application. Another thing that I quite like doing is to tell it to play a sound effect every time an item is copied in. This is really useful because then I can hear what's going on. So if I now copy something, you'll hear you might just be able to hear that noise. And we know it's going in. Finally, I'll just quickly demonstrate magic paste. Sorry, not magic paste, paste picker, because it's not enabled by default. To enable it, we go tools, options, and then select display paste picker box with control V, that's the default, I like to use shift control V and now wherever I am I can press shift control V and a little box pops up showing me the last 10 items you can change that number in options and I can quickly use the keyboard or the mouse to select an item so clip magic isn't even showing at the moment and it just means that I can very quickly access previously copied clips in whatever application I'm working in. And there's another video all about that on the website. So, I hope that's given you a quick overview as how to start Clip Magic and get working with it.